Hi everybody, and welcome back to more Miss of Pandaria World of Warcraft beta videos. It's been a while since I've done one because Diablo 3 dropped, and I've uh, been playing the hell out of that. Also have my running addiction to Blacklight Retribution, and uh, playing the Secret World beta. I was also doing the Path of Exile beta, but that lasted about maybe 10-15 minutes, and then Diablo 3 dropped. Uh, in this particular video, I wanted to go over some of the new hunter tames that you can get in Mist of Pandaria. Uh, I've got myself in a good area to show you a couple things. Here is a Wild Stalker. It's one of the new Tiger models. Pretty standard cat over here. Claw, Prowl, Cower, Growl. Uh, here is a Bamboo Huntress which is a slightly bigger, lighter model, uh, but unfortunately it is nothing particularly different from the regular kitties. Uh, over here is a stone skin basilisk. That is my current pet. Just, cha just uh, tamed him before the video. You'll notice that he has petrifying gaze, cower, growl, bite, and I'll also show you there's petrifying gaze one minute cooldown, turns the target into stone for three seconds, but makes him invulnerable. He's got charge, last stand, and thunder stomp. Now, I'm going to go ahead and send in my basilisk over here against this wild one, or that wild one, and you'll notice that the wild one will have an ability that I was kind of hoping the tamed one would have. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I'm just going to let the two fight for a little bit. We'll see if it uh, procs. There it is. There's Rupture Line. Similar to the elementals that we've seen in Cataclysm. We also saw it with the uh, four elementals in Twilight of Bastion. I was kind of hoping the Basilisk would have it. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't. So that was kind of disappointing. And we're going to go ahead and move on to where the cranes are. Now I can show you what a crane looks like. Interesting little bird. Extremely delicate. I sent him in against one of these basilisks and he died in an instant. Which made me think that that fault line ability was just almost near an out and out death. Uh, but I don't think it was. Just for some reason crumpled. Uh, here's a crane. We'll go ahead and be slorm. Lullaby, Smack, Trick, Cower, and Growl. So we'll go ahead and dismiss this guy over here. And we'll trap him, just to be sure. And we will go ahead and tame him. I uh, shouldn't have too many pets. I thought I abandoned him. Maybe I just hit dismiss. Wait a minute. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, so now that we have the crane pet, we'll go ahead and take a look at what he's got. Oh, first, I'll show you. He's a cunning pet. And this is kind of weird. Cunning shows up as arcane if you are at the... Uh, if you're at your pet keeper... It'll say that your pets are Ferocity and Tenacity and Arcane. Either that or Tenacity is the Arcane one. It's kind of a strange bug. But okay, we'll take a look at his abilities over here. And you'll see that he's got Cower. He's got Growl. He's got Lullaby, which puts a target to sleep for a eh, tiny four seconds. Nothing particularly fancy over there. Uh, he has Smack, which is his basic attack. He has Trick, which defaults to being on the bar. So I'll go show you Trick. I think it's probably not animated as best as it possibly could be. I, I think... Uh, 
the trick on the seagull pet in Cataclysm makes it do a loop-de-loop, -loop, if I remember correctly. Um, he also has Bullheaded, which removes uh, movement and pairing effects. He's got Dash, and he's got Roar of Sacrifice. So there's the crane. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until I can find those stupid caterpillars. On the way to find the caterpillars, I am taking a look at these foxes over here. For some reason, they are not tameable. Not too sure why. They're a beast that look like a standard fox. Uh, can't be tamed. Kind of surprising over there. And we'll see if we can't possibly find the caterpillars, which were bugged for some time in the beta, and they appeared huge. The fox pups are tameable. They seem to have the standard fox abilities, bite, tail spin, play, cower, and growl. So the pups are tameable, but the crane hunters aren't. Not too sure why. You'll see some ghost iron over there uh, in this particular build. They do have the herbing and mining nodes in the game now, so you'll see Ghost Iron and uh, I forgot the herbing ones. I did encounter some, but I've definitely seen more of the Ghost Iron than I've actually seen the herbs. Now, I'm thinking that the caterpillars were up this way somewhere. Here's some more neutral mobs. These are not tameable. There's some ghost iron. Let's take a look at that owl. He's tameable. Looks pretty standard there. I'm thinking that the caterpillars were up in the area where the spiders were which is in this general direction. So let's see what we get over here. Okay, let's take a look at the Silkwood Stalker. They are tameable with Bite Web, Cower, and Growl. So that's pretty standard there for the spiders. I will say that this particular zone, they, they definitely made out to be a bit creepier than the spider area of Tol Barard. And uh, it seems that these spiders in this one are actually skinnable, which is kind of rare to find a skinnable spider in the live version of WoW. It's not something you've seen very often. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pause this again until we find the stupid caterpillars. Alright, we are back temporarily um, in an area by the lair of the Jade Witch. Gonna show off some of the bears and another pet family that we have here. This is a smoky porcupine. He is tameable. He's considered part of the boar family. Claw, Paralyzing Quill, Rest, Cower, and Growl. I do have one of them, but he is stabled currently. Uh, when I tamed him, he shrank down a lot. Like, he went from the size of that wild mob over here, basically to the size of a non-combat pet. Unfortunately, don't have him available to show at the moment. He was smaller than this pig, which is Pig Knight. He is a, a special tame from a Mulgore quest uh, that was tied to feed the evil and the battle boars. However, he is no longer attainable. So, apparently you can no longer get this particular flaming pet in any version of World of Warcraft. So I have a little bit of a unique pet over here that this pig is on fire and he'll never go out. It's very similar to the wolf with the sword in his head. He is a, a tame that had to be done at a specific time. 
Uh, otherwise, he would not appear to be on flame. Bear has claw, demoralizing roar, rest, cower, and growl. So nothing particularly unusual over here. Still no caterpillars on the radar yet. I used to see hunters around with them running around an org because they would be huge. Um, and I was not exactly sure where exactly uh, they had come from. Here's the Sunrise Crane, same thing as the other bird. One of the other unique tames that I had for a short period of time back in Wrath was the wolf that turned into a werewolf. That was an extremely tough tame to get as uh, once again you had to tame him at a specific point and unlike a lot of the other ones you actually had to go a certain spec to get him. You had to go survival and uh, you had to put him to sleep and tame him at just the right time otherwise he would appear to be a uh, normal wolf. Unfortunately, they nerfed that a long, long time ago. I still have a screenshot of him being a werewolf at my login screen, but that is long gone. Uh, we'll go ahead and see what a Dawn Feather Flyer is over here. Ah, more birds. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pause again until we find these stupid caterpillars. Alright, I happened to check on Petopia, where the caterpillars, or the silkworms as they're called, might be. They are down in the Nectar Breeze Orchid, so we're going to go ahead and head down there. And I'll go ahead and leave Fraps running on the way there so you can see some of the scenery as we go through this particular area of Mists of Pandaria. Now, according to Petopia, there is going to be a two new Beast Mastery only pets uh, available in Mists of Pandaria. One of them will be the Quinlan, which are basically the kind of stone-looking cat dogs. And the other will be the Water Striders. And here we go. Here are the modeled caterpillars. I believe they're part of the worm family, but I don't know if it's going to require beast mastery for them. Yes, it is going to require beast mastery for them. They are an exotic, unfortunately. So not going to be able to go ahead and tame them unless... Let's take a look at my secondary talents. We'll go ahead and let's see... It's supposedly survival, but untalented... Yep, okay. It's an untalented survival, so I won't be able to switch over to BM and tame him, unfortunately. But here is the caterpillar. Nice little fly-in effect of the uh, hunter abilities there, except there's now duplicates. Kind of strange. Uh, here they are. They used to appear quite big. When the hunter tamed them, they'd be at least one and a half times the size of my cow. And you can see it'll have bite, acid spit, burrow attack, cower, and growl. Not too sure what burrow attack is. It almost sounds rather Pokemon. Sand attack. Uh, but here they are, and they are still tameable as of now. So it looks like this is going to be another exotic pet. But it's an existing family. It's uh, going to be fitting into the worm family. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this brief little hunter video here of the Miss of Pandaria beta. And uh, we'll go through take a look at some of my mounts. I'm up to 60 now. Unfortunately, I am seeing non warlocks running around on Felsteed mounts, but... After I transferred my Warlock over, unfortunately, the Fell Steed is not moving over. Spectra Windrider is on my Warlock, so this one did, but not the class mount. And briefly, my Pally mounts disappeared, but here they are. 
So for some reason, I'm able to get on my pally mount, including this Argent Tournament one, but I'm not able to get on a Felsteed. And I don't have my Death Knight over here, so I'm not able to try with that one. But here's a Hunter Cow on a pally mount. So I'll catch you guys later, and we'll see if we can get uh, some more Mr. Pandaria beta videos rolling around here.